Hey everyone, Tony D and Little Joan here on a Screenwriter's Rant. We're going to take a look at Misbehavior, or Misbehavior, 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 a uh, movie trailer. I'm not sure if it's a comedy or not. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books, Wokistan, a novel, and The Pineys, 1, 2, and 3, ebook, trade paperback, and Kindle Unlimited. Last year, a hundred million people tuned in live to Miss World. More viewers than for the moon landings or the World Cup final. Beautiful, darling. Mum, don't. You and your sisters used to love playing Miss World. We also like to eat our own snot. They must have no defect. London, 1970. It's a interesting time period. If they're not pretty much 36, 24, 36, come on, the curves won't be in the right places. But we really believe beauty isn't just skin deep. The girls also get marks on charm, grace, deportment. Swimsuits. Based on a true story. That's where movies like this, I mean, it's good, it's grounded in reality, but how much of that true story is actually true then becomes the, the, the issue sometimes. Because sometimes I feel like they take so many liberties, you know, that's almost based on a true story is it should be in quotes. Um, but if they, if they stick with reality that, see the reason they always say based on a true story is because they can't exactly do it. They have to collapse events and characters together in order to, you know, put it into a two-hour movie and make it make sense. But I, I'd like to see it as close as possible because if it's too far off and then I go back and read the Wikipedia entry and it was, like, grossly off, off kilter, then I, I feel kind of, like, misled. Both rehearsals are underway. Alphabetical order, come on, Yugoslavia. What are you doing up here? That's A. I'm the first black South African to take part. I'm the first, Miss Grenada. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Bob Hope. The last time Bob huh. tested on this show, he brought the winning girl home with him. <laughs> <laughs> They're turning a Greg Kinnear is Bob Hope. That's, That's an interesting choice. We'd infiltrate the theater. Just been smoking and watching, like in a heist film. If I win, there will be little girls who might start to believe they have a place in the world. Oh, okay. So this is like the early days of feminism, I guess. So, it's kind of from both angles. Kind of like the woman uh, competing for Miss World sees herself as a role model, and then the, the women protesting against Miss World see, see themselves as... I guess fighting for role models. We black, we better ones. To be Miss World. You don't love me. It's not you we're angry at. I look forward to having your choices in life. But it's all just flashbulbs in his face. Not so many flashbulbs for me. I don't want you to think I'm some kind of brute that doesn't consider the feelings of women. I consider feeling women all the time. Get this. <laughs> Bob. This competition makes us compete with each other and makes the world narrower for all of us in the end. Why should any woman have to earn her place in the world by that. looking a particular way? You don't. He doesn't. Why should we? I don't know if I agreed with all that assessment in the trailer, but you know, it 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 could be an interesting movie in that it's an interesting time period. Um, you know, it, again, it all it all keys keys in on is it really based on a true story, and are these people real, or did they take wild liberties with the actual events? Um, it's kind of not a theater movie for me. This is the kind of movie I'd see like. I guess if it, in an art house, maybe, maybe, if I heard it was really good. Um, otherwise, I'd probably watch it like on a Sunday. I was bored and had nothing else to do. Back in the day when TV was a thing. 
but uh, you know, Kira Knightley is solid, and um, it is an interesting time period, 1970s. And Greg Kinnear as as Bob Hope, that's an interesting casting call. Is it? So it's, it's kind of like interesting to see Bob Hope almost as like a historical figure rather than a celebrity because as a kid I saw him on like the Tonight Show and stuff all the time. So interesting, interesting. 